Uh, any Gen X's or Gen Y's in this room? I see only Gen X's and Gen Y's in this room, so you guys all know that that quote took inspiration from a Friends episode uh, where uh, George Troviani was eating a beef casserole with chicken and beef. Um, right now, you just had lunch. Imagine right now, you're sitting in your chair listening to these presenters today. You know, you feel a little heartburn. You feel tired. Maybe it's from the lunch. Maybe you have a history of hypertension, and that briefly crosses your mind, but then you move on and you forget about it. But little did you know that it was not just heartburn. It wasn't just after effects of what you ate for lunch. And it wasn't just because you stayed up late last night working on your slide deck for tonight, for today. That was actually an early warning sign of having a heart attack. And what if a heart attack that will hit you sometime in the next 30 minutes? Imagine, instead of having that heart attack in the next 30 minutes, having a heart attack that you did not expect, a device on your wrist alerted you, and an ambulance is already on its way. Ladies and gentlemen, that is not science fiction. That is not only possible, that is the future of cardiovascular predictive digital health. It is possible, and that is the subject of this talk today. I'm here to talk to you about the next generation technology that might just save your life. My name is James Chen, and I am the founder of Vivi Scout. I'm incredibly passionate about what I will share with you today. A passion that began during my days at Johns Hopkins, biomedical engineering, uh, and, and has continued through my more than 20 years experience navigating the FDA regulatory space, which has led me to found Vivi Scout, uh, which I believe is the next moonshot for addressing cardiovascular diseases. Does anyone here know what a moonshot is? <laughs> I'm assuming yes. Uh, we've all heard about the infamous cancer moonshot attempts. Uh, so starting with a bit of humor and curiosity, I'm going to ask chat GTP4 uh, prior to this update what a moonshot is. A moonshot is an innovative solution that is thought to be impossible, very difficult, with a very high risk of failure. But it is ambitious and groundbreaking. Um, yes, so my company has a very high risk of failure, and I'm very happy to state that. Uh, so what could be a moonshot to address the problem of cardiovascular diseases? So let's ask ChatGTP4. In June of this, uh, in June of this year, I asked ChatGTP4 what a, moon, a CVD moonshot was. They didn't know. Um, so earlier this month, ChatGTP4 Turbo was released. So I got curious. I started thinking to myself, maybe I should ask GTP4 if they had a better answer. Maybe they do. Hey, chat GTP4, Turbo, what is a CVD moonshot? A CVD moonshot is ambitious, has breakthrough potential in the field of cardiovascular diseases. Gee, thanks. It's vague. Hey, but at least now we have an answer from chat GTP4, Turbo, so I feel vindicated. <laughs> I'm going to give you a better definition. So let me share with you the ViviScout definition of the CVD moonshot. It is a coming solution that would detect hidden cardiovascular diseases, which is especially important considering those stay asymptomatic for many years until complications arise. And in examples include hypertension, atherosclerosis, coronary artery disease, and silent heart attacks. Now imagine if you had been living with coronary artery disease for the past two years and you didn't know it. Nor was it diagnosed by your doctors. At some point in the next year, your heart will experience a skipped beat when you're running on the treadmill and it causes you to miss a step, trip, and hit your head on the treadmill as you fall down to the ground. That would have been prevented if your coronary artery disease was detected sooner. Now, can your smartwatch alert you when you are experiencing a heart attack? Can it alert you when you're experiencing a silent heart attack? Or what about a mini heart attack? Isn't a solution already on the market? With so many of us already wearing an Apple Watch, a Fitbit, or Garmin, 
Surely all of this monitoring that is monitoring our cardiovascular health? Actually, no. The best tech on the market is not addressing this need. Your smartwatch never checks for heart attacks. Now imagine if your smartwatch can alert you if you're experiencing a heart attack, a silent heart attack, or a mini heart attack. This is not fictional. Examples like this happen across our country every day, and we believe this can be preventable. Wouldn't it be amazing and helpful if you were notified about it by something on your wrist? I know what you're thinking. I'm having a heart attack. What good is it to alert me that I'm having a heart attack? That might make the situation worse. It will stress me out. Well, here's why. If you felt heartburn in the last hour after lunch, the wearable that you're wearing can alert you that it was not just a heartburn. It was actually a mini heart attack that would have otherwise gone unnoticed and undetected. But what if it was a silent heart attack that went undetected, even worse? What if we had a technology that can detect heart attacks and send a report of the two hours leading up to the heart attack to your doctor? Imagine how many lives we could save then. What if I told you that this technology could be a few years away? But wait, there's more. What if this technology gave you an alert 30 minutes before you experience a heart attack? What would you do then? You could act to save yourself. That is the VV Scout long-term vision with a very realistic near-term path to get there with proper funding, partners, and research, starting with our issued patent, uh, which we received a few years ago. We know the path to make this a reality. All of this starts with our platform technology VV Scout is developing a non-invasive arterial line. Our first in-human clinical study, which we did with um, HIT Lab and SUNY Downstate with Dr. Jason Lazar, um, explored a less costly path to market, which represent our near-term goals. One of our first product launches will be Optico, continuous, passive blood pressure monitoring. Current FDA cleared blood pressure cuffs are not optical, continuous, nor passive. One of our first commercial efforts has the ambition to provide real-time, instantaneous blood pressure readings of both systolic and diastolic at the frequency of your heartbeat. To the 1.28 billion people living with hypertension globally, let that settle in. Blood pressure readings at the frequency of your heartbeat. If your heartbeat is 60 beats per minute, that is 60 blood pressure readings each minute for both systolic and diastolic. If you have been at the summit since 9 a.m. and you're wearing a Baby Scout product, you would have generated 20,000 blood pressure readings since this morning, 9 a.m. Hypothetically, if the 1.28 billion people were generating blood pressure readings with a Baby Scout product for the past six hours, collectively, that amounts to 25 trillion blood pressure readings. Imagine what new insights a machine learning algorithm can gain with that amount of blood pressure big data. Now let's zoom back into the individual. Imagine this. You're about to be late for your 9 a.m. meeting at the summit, and you can't find parking as you drive around in circles around Columbia campus. Your blood pressure increases. You start sweating more. You can get a call from Stan. Hey, dude, where are you? Under intense pressure, you respond with, I can't find parking spot. Yes, I know I'm running late. Unconsciously, your voice rises and your blood pressure keeps going up. You make it to your meeting on time, all right? You start feeling more relaxed. And you didn't know you had elevated blood pressure. How many times a day can you approach stage three hypertension of 180 or more on your systolic? How many times a day can you venture into stage three before you become at risk of a heart attack? Those are all wonderful questions which we hope to help you with. We have completed our first clinical study, a three-product crossover study, with a data collection time of 10 minutes. What we have accomplished in the study is that we have collected over 50,000 blood pressure readings in just 10 minutes. I think that's the first ever. Because of our ambition to measure blood pressure at the frequency of your heartbeat, we can scale up the size of our blood pressure data pool very quickly. Here's a sneak peek into the accuracy of our blood pressure measurements. 
33% of our blood pressure measurements were within five millimeter mercuries of the two controls. It's getting there, but granted this was our very first in human study, so not so bad. 50% were within 10 millimeters of controls, and 75% of our blood pressure measurements were within 20 millimeter of controls. If Apple can do blood pressure trending in the next two iterations of blood pressure of, of the Apple Watch, we think we could also do blood pressure and possibly beat them to market. We have demonstrated that we can control a huge amount of blood pressure data with relatively good accuracy for our very first study. With your support of your additional funding, one of our missions is to disrupt the blood pressure monitoring market. The second of our missions is to disrupt big data healthcare analysis. Imagine what new insights a machine learning algorithm can gain from 25 trillion blood pressure data points in just six hours. I won't get into the details on this talk, but here's a snapshot into what some of our raw data looks like. The takeaway is that we were able to obtain hospital-grade hospital arterial pulse waveforms with no needles, no surgeries, and no operating rooms. In 10 minutes, we not only generated 50,000 blood pressure readings, we also generated 50,000 optical arterial pulse waveforms. Current hospital grade arterial pulse waveforms are only accessible in hospital settings with needles. Uh, we believe we're able to obtain hospital grade waveforms from a device on your wrist. Analysis of hospital grade pulse waveforms is the backbone of this technology. Blood pressure, cardiac output, detection of coronary artery diseases are just a few of the things that, you, that could be seen in a hospital grade arterial pulse waveform. The machine learning algorithm will be trained to you, the individual, should you experience an onset of a cardiovascular disease. For example, if your waveform loses a dichrotic notch, we will, be, we will be able to detect that long before your doctors can give you a diagnosis. Has anyone here heard of a joint venture between Mayo and Novartis? Any hands? I see a few hands, great. Uh, for the rest of you, uh, it's a wildly successful AI attempt applied on a large, on a very vast ECG database. It's a joint venture between Mayo and Novartis. They formed a company called Anumana. Um, one of the findings was low ejection fraction in ECG tracings, which just got FDA clearance this past October of 2023. Uh, with, with your support, we will bring a non-invasive arterial line to market, and we will build the world's largest repository of arterial pulse waveforms. And then we'll apply AI to that data set just like Animata, and it'll be worth $330 million post money value. It is possible in our study, um, yeah. It is possible because in our study, in just 10 minutes, we generated 50,000 pulse waveforms from just 70 study participants, so we could scale up very quickly. Imagine how many arterial waveforms we could generate from the same 70 people over a week. That would be over 600,000 arterial pulse waveforms in just one week. If Anumana was able to get ejection fraction from ECG datasets, the insights that we could obtain from optical arterial pulse waveforms is limitless. By the way, Vivi Scout is developing solutions that expand access to cutting edge health technologies. We plan to price our product similar to your Netflix or your HBO Go, HBO Go subscription. We, we will be less expensive than all of your monthly recurring subscriptions combined. And we will also be less expensive than your monthly cell phone bill. Now who, would, who wouldn't want that on your wrist? Expanding access to cutting edge technologies is one of our core values as shown by our study demographics, which focused heavily on health equity. This study had more, had more than 50% of study participants who had darker skin pigmentation. The ratio of female to male was three to one. And we had a good distribution of age and BMI. Now this dog, represents, is a pity that represents my dog, Scout. Vivi is the Latin word, for those of you who are familiar with Latin, Vivi is the Latin word that represents life, and Scout represents looking ahead for dangers. You combine it together, we're a company that are looking ahead for dangers in your life. 
So what does this mean? Why does this matter? Vivi Scout is close to a solution that will scout ahead, provide you peace of mind, and potentially save lives, all through a technology that sits on your wrist that has the potential to disrupt not one, but more than one market. We are going to fundamentally change the lives of people who matter to us. We believe that the potential solution is worth the time and financial commitment. We all have loved ones who live with chronic diseases who are at risk of heart attack. What if no one is there when they have their heart attack? I said in, this, in the beginning that this was personal to me, as with many of us in this room, I have siblings, parents, and friends who are at risk. And, worse, and the worst part of it all is that I cannot always be near them. I am so inspired by what's possible in a moonshot solution for cardiovascular diseases. Uh, we would like to express our gratitude to our host, Dr. Kuchnowski's team at HitLab. And I believe that this technology can fundamentally change the lives of, our, of your loved ones. We need your help to bring this technology to the world. We are actively seeking committed partners in funding. Please grab me later today or reach out to me at james at viviscout.com. Together, we can bring this moonshot to reality. Thank you.